Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Redcom One Tactical. Your main man, Cody. My main man, Hunter. Hunter. And yeah, we're back with another box of awesomeness. We just got it in. This is the Black November. November. The Black. So they're doing their big uh, Black November sale. This is the Black November box of awesomeness. Now I will say, when we got the box, um, you know, a little bit of wear and tear on the box just from the delivery system, you know. But it's not in bad shape, you know. Substantially decent weight to it. So we're optimistic about what, we're really hoping for a pistol. There's a good chance that, you know, you can get one. We're really hopeful. There's at least four. four. At least four. We told you guys, hey, there's really like one weapon combination that we really don't want at all. And that's the one we got. Um, the AUG and the, uh, uh, the Featherweight. Which that was just a disappointment and a half. So, handy dandy blade. And let's just get to it. Fingers crossed. Okay. We're not gonna peek, no peeking. Back flat first, you ready? You ready? I'm already seeing some positivity here. Um, first things first, uh, let's get that pamphlet. Comes a little pamphlet. I gotta pull these out because uh, these are not part of the box of awesome. No, we bought those. We ourselves. bought some extra AK mags, some metal ones because we were running. Those actually low. metal this time. They are. So first thing I see looks like this box is upside down. Oh, here's another mag. <laughs> so we'll get to it in a second. Um, we got another one. Another of one of these yeah, honeycomb. You know these hex mags. This one's olive this time. Or is it black? I think it's black. The last one we got was tan. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was definitely appreciated, but it wasn't the greatest. Yeah, thing. not great mags, but you know they're mid caps. Um, they're polymer, so they're decent. Mm -hmm. I'll let you toss that over there somewhere. Um, it's actually not too bad. Uh, KPO two. Uh, this is from KJ Works. Not bad. It's more or less like, um, let's take a look at this while we're here. Oh, that's <laughs> small. You know, actually, it's not too bad. It's not terrible. Yeah, it's not a terrible little pistol. Oh, it's like a P2. Oh, it's like a P226. Is it? This isn't the electric blowback one that they were? No, this is not the electric blowback one. Because remember, they were talking about that, that one gun they were advertising as an electric blowback. Yeah. Okay, this is a gas gun. It's actually not too bad. So you, I'm gonna give this to you. You might think it's plastic, but it's 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 metal. It just it feels like it has like that. For those of you who uh, work with AR-15s and all that, it has like that texture on the on the slide. So it, it's metal, but it feels like plastic. If that right. makes sense. So take a look at that. Looks like maybe a, an unjamming rod and an extra inner barrel, maybe. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, this has got some weight to it. Yeah, that's kind of bulky. It is kind of bulky. For being a compact, it's kind of bulky. It, it's, you know, there's this has some potential. That's mag. I'm just touching everything <laughs> wrong. Let me. <laughs> yeah, you pull see if I can get this mag. Well, you did something to the gun. There you go. <laughs> really bulky. Okay, green gas. Is it green gas? Oh. Huh. Green gas. It's not bad. Um, couple little little thing of BBs and the sun jamming rod. Uh, and we'll, we'll honestly, do some. <clears throat> I'm not too upset about this. I was actually thinking about getting a K a KWA P2 uh, P226. This this not P226. They get away with by calling it a uh, KPO2, but it's the uh, the PP29. Which is a shorter version of that. Yeah. Let's move on. Okay, now on to... There's another item in here, not just... And it's upside down. It's, yeah. it's the demolition wrench. Oh! Okay, I'm going to pick this up. Nice! You slide that dude out of the way. I'm going to do that. There goes my phone. <laughs> so I was... You know, we had talked about... There was a couple boxes that we really wanted. One box in particular, and I don't remember what it was, was the pistol you wanted, like a really good pistol, and then one of the Demolition Ranch rifles. JW3 High Kappa. And, and you can see here, that's what that is. So I already know, just because I've seen this gun, you can see it on their website, I've seen other people unbox it, I know exactly what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
I'm pretty stoked about this. I no, I would have been more stoked for a, a better pistol. No, I'm happy with that, honestly. Okay, then I'm, then I'm this is definitely a win. Let's go ahead and just unbox this, because this thing is sick. Oh, it has a terrible You're style. out of frame on the camera because you're standing. I know, standing. I'm trying to help you out. Wow, it's actually quite lengthy. Yeah, it, it's a pretty long gun. So, let me get this plastic off here. Go ahead and set back down so they can see you. Yeah. And that is pretty nice. There it is. These are extremely nice. But like I said, we had talked about this gun in the past. Um, you can see everything's skeletonized. The magwell, the handguard, the bolt carrier, the upper receiver. So we had talked about, you know, where we play, it's I mean, if you're playing out in the field, yes, it's, it's, there's it's dust and sand and weeds and branches and trees gonna get everywhere. But aesthetically, I mean, even that muzzle brake. That is really nice. That is super nice. Got a really good weight to it. Adjustable stock with the trigger underneath here. Flat trigger. Um, let's see, it is ambidextrous fire select. Right-handed mag release only. Yeah, that's really all that matters. I wonder if that... Does it lock? It yeah, does, it does lock. lock. Yep, functioning bolt catch. It does lock, which um, gives access to a really nice hop-up style, a uh, rotary really style nice. hop-up, but it's the little, the little one that has the bigger groove, so it's a lot easier to get your thumb on it. Mm -hmm. And oh, it adjusts really nice. That is a really nice gun. It's not too heavy either. It's fairly lightweight. Obviously, it's built to be kind of lightweight with all the cutouts. I think I think my Scorpion is actually heavier than this. <laughs> I think so. It is super light. I don't know what the claimed weight on it is, hmm. but it is super light. And then this, obviously, in the box, it's just oh, it's comes with your high high cap mag and your your punch oh, rod. <laughs> feel how sturdy that is in the magwell, despite its skeleton design. That oh, that's tight. That's got very little wiggle, even with this cheap high cap mag. That it is sits nice. in there really, really nice. That that deep trigger well, I really like that, especially if you're running gloves. Most of the time I don't, but there are occasions where I will run gloves and, and getting your finger in there on the trigger for proper trigger placement. That deep trigger guard there is really, really nice. Aesthetically, this thing is pleasing. I would say if I had to just, just by looking at it um, right out of the box, never having held one, if I was going to critique anything on the negative side, I would say the grip stands out to me right away. I'm not a fan of the, the grip. It's actually, it's, you it's, can tell that it's definitely a cheaper It, it is a cheaper grip. grip. It's plastic. But there's, everything there's else. There's very little the stipling way. on the grip. I don't think there's any stipling. It's pretty just And in fact, this muzzle breaks metal. You just have to take this orange tip off and that's it. Okay, so yeah. metal muzzle brake with the plastic orange tip that probably... I have, you might have to put some water on that probably. I don't know if it's glued or not or there may be a set screw. It looks like it just pops out. We'll mess with it later, okay. but... I, I dig it. I really do. We're gonna have to put, yeah, we're gonna have to put a, That's really a cool. grip on there and some sights and... Uh, and I know from experience that this is like, this is a, the, the Falcor came with a stock like this, and I do not enjoy this stock at all. That's right, you, you, you changed your stock out right away. It's very minimal, but, but there's so much holes in it that it's, you know. Yeah, and, and I think that goes back to the entire concept of, of being super lightweight. It's very well balanced weight, but it is super lightweight. And, and that, again, that's all the cutouts, everything that's skeletonized. This stock that's got all of these vents for these cutouts in it. That's great for weight saving. I like it. But again, he had one on his Falcor that we swapped that out just to keep, you know, from getting dirt and stuff in there in your battery compartment. Which, by the way, battery compartment is... Yeah, it's oh, it's that here. little pin on the top. Oh, okay, yeah. just like your other one. Just yeah, like you it. already know. <clears throat> so there's a little pin right here at the top that uh, you push out, pull out, uh, this butt plate comes off and then you can access your your battery compartment. Um, we're not going to go into a full-on review of that today. This is more or less just a, a shorter video, just kind of an unboxing, first impressions, shock and awe type deal. So, um, let's start with the pistol. 
I so, am not shock, shock, at all. Okay, I was gonna say shock and awe factor. Um, I wasn't completely wowed at first look, first impressions. After having held it in my hand though, um, it feels really comfortable. Yeah. And especially, I've got real small hands. I've got little girl hands compared to this guy with his gorilla mitts. So in your hand, I'm willing to bet that's probably a lot more comfortable than it is oh, in it is mine. Amazing. I typically run a, a more compact gun or like 1911s because they just fit my little girl hands better. So it's, it's got some good weight to it. I would say just without, you know how we, we usually do kind of a, a five star re, um, review system. Back to our rating and then we're going to get out of here. Out of five stars based on, may I? Based on looks, uh, the feel of it, the weight of it without even having shot it. Um, magazine goes in nice, it slides nice. I would give this, based on just what we have right here looking at it, I, I would say three and a half stars right now. I'd give it four, actually. You'd give it a four? That, no, and that's and that's why we do this. Uh, five stars for me. But, yeah, no, five stars. No, no, I'm going to take mine back. Hmm. I'm going to take mine back, and I'm going to give it four and a half stars. And I'll tell you guys why. This is an amazing piece of machinery. Absolutely amazing gun. Never, never shot one. I've never seen anybody um, use one in gameplay. Two things. This pistol grip I'm not a fan of. No stipling, very smooth, feels cheap. I get it. You gotta throw some cheap parts on there. And because of our past experience with this buttstock, not that it's a bad buttstock, very functional, very lightweight, sling mount, but we ditched his right out of the gate because of all these holes. Half a point, half a point, brings me to four stars. Hunter, what do you think? Even with all that negative, I'd probably still give it five stars. Still giving it, he's still For giving it. For everything else it has. Sure. And, and it's got a lot of good components. Uh, comes with a black muzzle brake. All you gotta do is twist off that orange tip. Uh, very solid gun, really cool paint job. Um, you know, this is the, if you guys aren't familiar with Demolition Ranch, go check out Demolition Ranch's uh, YouTube page. He does a lot of really cool stuff. And this was kind of his, uh, what do you call it, signature build but again for me just because i've got to critique i've got to be fair in my opinion that grip and the butt stock so that's why i'd give it the four stars yeah it's understandable anyway um thank you guys for watching we hope you enjoy the content that we're trying to put out we i know we don't get it out as, as often as some other channels and stuff we're just two regular guys going to school working a job with a million other hobbies trying to play some airsoft trying to review some cool stuff and build our arsenal up but we appreciate you guys. If you've stuck around this far, congratulations. You made it through all of our bore gore. So if you're digging what we're doing, um, hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. It'll really help out our channel. We're just getting started. We just really enjoy Airsoft. With that being said, thanks again, you guys, for watching. Hope everybody has a great day. Peace. Peace. We struck gold. <laughs>